everyone. I just finished today's workout. It was such a great workout, only 15 minutes long. Um, the only thing you're gonna need if you wanna do the workout right along with me is just an exercise mat or maybe a couple of towels, something that you can lie down on comfortably. I was also using a set of five pound dumbbells. So if you have a set of light weights and you wanna grab those, go for it. If not, you do not need to use the added weight. You can do the exact same exercises using your only your own body weight. We're gonna get right into the workout, but stick around because after the workout, I will go through all of the exercises and show you the body weight alternatives. Um, so if you wanna go ahead and do it with me now, just grab your mat or a couple of towels, grab a light set of weights if you want, get warmed up and let's go.
exercises today. The first one was basically just a reverse lunge with a knee up, okay? Reverse lunge, knee up. At the bottom of the lunge though, we were adding a little bit. So I'm gonna lift this front leg in a controlled movement and bring my hands to touch underneath the leg while I'm down in the lunge. Okay, so lunge back and down. Now I'm gonna lift my front knee and clap the hands under the leg in a controlled movement, as controlled as you can, and then continue, bring that knee up. Go back into the reverse lunge, lift the front leg, and then that back leg comes forward, knee comes up. Okay, so we are on 10 second rest intervals and 20 second work intervals. So you're staying on the same leg for that entire 20 second work interval. And then you'll have your 10 seconds rest and with the next work interval, you'll switch the legs. So now with the other leg, lunge back, lift that knee up in the front and then bring the neck back knee up. Back into the reverse lunge, front knee comes up and then that back knee comes up. Okay, so that's the first exercise. For the next exercise, you're gonna be down on your mat or your towel. I have to take my hair clip out for this one. All right, so coming down and then all the way flat on your back. You're gonna lift, um, bend one knee and this foot is flat on the mat. Hands are gonna extend overhead. Now with this foot, you're gonna press your heel into the mat and lift your hips and you're gonna lift this straight leg off the mat as well. Now, my hips are gonna stay lifted off the mat the entire time in this one leg bridge position. My straight leg is gonna bend in, so I'm gonna do a knee crunch with the straight leg, and while I do that, my hands are gonna come straight over on, onto either side of me like this, okay? Now, straighten the leg back out, hands go back up overhead, that's one rep. And again, we're staying on this leg for the entire 20 second interval, okay? Then you'll rest for 10 seconds, shake it out, and then you'll reverse it. So now this foot is flat, this leg is extended, push into the heel, lift the hips up as high as you can. This leg stays off the mat the whole time. Bend the knee in, hands come down to the sides, and then back. So I was, I'm um, holding my light dumbbells in my hand for that exercise during the workout. But if you don't have dumbbells or you don't want to use dumbbells, then you just do the body weight version that I just showed you. Same thing for this next exercise. I was holding one weight. I'm going to show it to you without any other weight so that if you don't have weights or you don't want to use weights, you know what to do. So you're going to start in this tabletop position and now I'm going to do a bird dog. So I'm going to lift one hand out in front and I'm going to extend the opposite leg behind me and now I'm going to crunch the knee in and I'm going to bring my elbow in to meet my knee. Then extend the arm, extend the leg. Now keeping my torso um, still, so my neck is in a neutral position, my spine is straight, keeping all of that still, I'm going to bend this leg so that it is close to my, the opposite hip. And at the same time with a straight arm, I'm gonna bring this arm back to touch the heel, okay? So nice tight core, keeping everything else still, and now return to the starting position. That's one rep, okay? So, bird dog, then bend at the knee, and with a straight arm, touch that foot. So again, you'll stay on that side for the full 20 second interval. And then for the next interval, you'll reverse it to the other side. So this hand extends forward, the other leg extends back. Bird dog, bend the knee, touch the foot. Next exercise is side lunge with a jump up. So I'm just going to lunge this leg out to the side. Remember in the lunge, you're sticking your booty back. The weight is in your standing heel, your non-lunging leg. Your back is straight, okay? So lunge down into your side lunge and then on the way up, you're gonna power up through this heel, 
through this leg and jump up, drive the knee up as high as you can. Staying on this side for the entire work interval. So lunge, jump, lunge, and jump. 10 seconds rest, switch to the other side. So lunge to the other side, drive the knee up, lunge, jump, drive the knee up, okay? So back down to your mat or your towel for the last exercise. You're gonna start all the way down on your belly, okay? Now I'm gonna take one hand and just place it on my back or my, my booty or my hip or wherever it's comfortable for you, but just to keep it out of the way and so I'm not tempted to use it. I find it more comfortable with my feet a little wider apart, so I have my feet on either side of the mat. And then this other hand is pressing right into the mat, right next to my chest, like underneath my armpit, okay? So now with the heel of this hand, I'm gonna use my tricep to push myself up, chest first, and then once I get into this position, I'm gonna press again into the heel of that hand, lift the hips, and press back. And now reverse the movement, back down, okay? So again, we're gonna stay on one side for the entire work interval. So press in that hand, press the heels up, reverse the movement. 10 seconds rest, you'll switch to the other side. So my hand is right here, underneath my armpit, right next to my chest. The other hand is on my booty, just to get out of the way. And now, make sure you don't want your elbow out to the side like this. You want your elbow tucked right into your side and then press the chest up, lift the hips, and press those hips back, and then back down. It's kind of hard to do it in slow motion. Okay, so like this. Press up, hips back, and back down. Keeping that elbow tucked in the entire time, not letting it splay out like this. So that's it, that's all the exercises. Timer is set for 10 second rest intervals, 20 second work intervals, and 30 rounds, which is 15 minutes. So you're gonna go through the entire circuit a total of three times. And um, I think that's it for today. If you need to see beginner modifications on any of, the, any of the exercises, please let me know. I'm always more than happy to do that for you. And um, yeah, if you try it, just let me know what you thought about it and how you did. That's it for today. I hope you like this one and I will see you next time. Bye.